In order to determine position in celestial navigation, observations of the sun, moon, visible planets, and stars have to be solved for information required to plot lines of position. Solving celestial observations, often referred to as sight reduction, can be done using the appropriate tables, referred to as PUB 229, or using formulas for a spherical triangle. In this presentation, we will use the following question to demonstrate how to use sight reduction formulas step by step. On 11 November 1981, at 0931 zone time, a sextant altitude of the sun's lower limb was 44 degrees 04.9 minutes. Index error was 5.2 minutes off the arc, and the height of the eye on the bridge was 65 feet. At the time of observation, the chronometer was 07 hours 29 minutes 22 seconds, with an error of 2 minutes 22 seconds slow. If the assumed latitude was 20 degrees north, declination of the sun was south 17 degrees 33.7 minutes and LHA was 334 degrees, what is the computed altitude and true azimuth of this site? Site production formulas are included in the American Practical Navigator, Bowditch, Volume 2, 1981 edition. To date, this publication is one of the authorized reference materials allowed in the U.S. Coast Guard Merchant Marine exam room. Equations to calculate azimuth angle are on page 505. I recommend equation 4A because it is streamlined. Tangent of Z equals sine LHA divided by cosine L tangent D minus sine L cosine LHA. The equation can be simplified to read tangent z equals sine LHA divided by open parenthesis cosine L times tangent D minus sine L times cosine LHA close parenthesis. Notes. Parenthesis is required to group the bottom operation. Z is the azimuth angle. L is the latitude of the observer, D is the declination of the celestial body, negative if opposite name to latitude, according to sign convention required for this equation. LHA is the local hour angle of the celestial body observed, negative if greater than 180 degrees, as per sign convention required for this equation. Any scientific calculator can be used to solve the equation. However, the TI-30XA is my calculator of choice because it can store three values in memory, is non-programmable, and has many functionalities, including polar to rectangular coordinates. It is reliable, ruggedly designed, and inexpensive. Most importantly, the TI-30XA meets all standards set by the U.S. Coast Guard for calculators used in the exam room. Let's begin by storing the three values required for calculating the azimuth angle. First. Check to make sure the calculator is in the degree mode. You should see degrees in the display. If the display shows radiant or gradient, use the DRG button to toggle from radiant or gradient to degrees, or turn the calculator off. When you turn it on again, it will default to degrees. Enter 20 degrees for latitude. Press Store and 1. M1 will appear in the display to confirm a stored value in memory 1. For declination of south 17 degrees 33.7 minutes, enter 17 plus 33.7 divided by 60 equals converts degrees and minutes to decimal degrees. This is required for calculating trigonometric functions. Since south declination and north latitude are in opposite hemispheres, change the declination sign to negative. Press store and 2. M2 will appear on the display. Enter 334 for LHA. Change the sign of LHA to negative because it is greater than 180 degrees. Press store and 3. M3 will appear on the display. At this point, I recommend pressing recall 1, recall 2, and recall 3 to double check the values stored before solving the equation. Note. For the TI-30XA calculator, the number must be entered before the trig function. The azimuth angle equation converted to keystrokes for the TI-30XA calculator is recall 3 sine divided by open parenthesis recall 1 cosine times recall 2 
tangent minus recall one sine times recall three cosine close parenthesis equals second tangent. Note tangent z equals minus zero point seven two four eight one seven seven two three. So z equals inverse or second tangent. The solution for the equation is a negative value. We must add 180 degrees to get z. Hence, the azimuth angle for this celestial observation is approximately 144.1 degrees. For an observer in a north latitude, if the LHA is greater than 180 degrees, as in this case, the azimuth angle equals true azimuth zn. Therefore, zn equals 144.1 degrees. Note. This formula can also be used for solving azimuth observations to determine compass error. For determining the computed altitude hc, I recommend equation 2a on page 500. Sine h equals sine l sine d plus cosine l cosine d cosine lha. The equation can be simplified to read sine h equals sine l times sine d plus cosine l times cosine d times cosine lha, where h is the computed altitude hc. Values already stored for latitude, declination, and lha are also used in this equation. The computed altitude equation converted to keystrokes for the TI-30XA calculator is recall 1 sine times Recall 2, sine, plus recall 1, cosine, times recall 2, cosine, times recall 3, cosine, equals second, sine. Note, sine h equals 0 0.70202-7657. So h equals inverse or second sine. The solution for the computed altitude equation is 44.5899-1039, or approximately 44 degrees 35.4 minutes. Notes. To clear the TI-30XA memory, enter 0 and press STORE 1, STORE 2, or STORE 3 as appropriate. Use the back button if you inadvertently enter a wrong number. These site reduction equations may seem a bit intimidating at first, but they can quickly become familiar with a little practice. There is a rhythm in both equations. For example, in the azimuth angle equation, sine, cosine, tangent, sine, cosine, tangent. In the equation for computed altitude, sine 1, sine 2, cosine 1, cosine 2, cosine 3, equals second sine. Instructions for these equations are given. Latitude, declination, and LHA stored in the calculator are used for both equations. For most mariners, the calculator method can be significantly faster than using the site reduction tables.